This video tutorial shows you how to file a new regular application using MySepo patents. From the home page of MySepo patents, in the new application tile, click on regular application. If you are authorized to act on behalf of an agent, please select the office and the agent you would like to work on behalf of for the current submission. Enter the title of your invention. If you have a reference number, provide it in the corresponding field. Click Save. The application is divided into five tabs. It is important to click on the Save button, under each tab, before proceeding to the next one, as there is no autosave function. Upon clicking Save, any required fields missing an entry, will be flagged with a red error message. We'll begin with the Petition tab. The title of the invention that was previously entered, is copied into the first field. Note that you may edit the title if you wish. To add an applicant, click on New Applicant, and fill in the relevant information in the pop-up box. If the applicant is also an inventor, make sure to check off the corresponding box. When adding an additional applicant, you have the option of indicating that the applicant you are adding, will be the common representative. To add an inventor, click on New Inventor. If the inventor is also an applicant, make sure to check off the corresponding box. Select a statement of entitlement. The information shown under the heading Appointment of Common Representative, confirms any appointment made by the joint applicants, either upon adding a new applicant, or editing one within the applicants table. If no common representative is appointed by the joint applicants, the Patent Office will appoint one by default. To edit the common representative information, click on the Edit icon, represented by a pencil, under Action from the Applicants table. To appoint a patent agent, or an associate patent agent, click on New Patent Agent, or New Associate Patent Agent. If you'd like to request priority, based on a previously filed application, click on New Priority, and fill the requested information. If you are entitled to pay the prescribed fees as a small entity, check off the box under Small Entity Declaration, and make sure to upload your declaration under the Documents tab. If the application includes drawings, you may indicate your preferred figure to accompany the abstract, when the application will be open for public inspection. Click Save before proceeding to the next tab. Click on the Details tab, to view the application details. If you had indicated, a reference number earlier, it will be copied into the relevant field. Select the language of the application, as well as the method of correspondence. Click Save. Click on the Reference Application tab. This tab is not expected to be used for the majority of applications. It enables an applicant to submit a reference statement, as is permitted under subsection 27.01 of the Patent Act, in place of all, or part of the specification or drawings. As with all tabs, any information entered must be saved. Click on the Documents tab, to view and upload documents, attached to the application. Any uploaded document, must satisfy the technical requirements, specified in the information blue box. Select the type of document, you wish to upload from the drop-down menu. Note that for new application filings, only those documents strictly tied to the initial filing process, will be available. To select a file for upload, either click Upload Files, or drag and drop the file in the designated area. Once your document is identified, click Save Document. Repeat the same steps to add more documents. A priority document upload, will require an additional input of information, through the priority drop-down menu, in order to associate it with one of the priority requests, previously made on the Petition tab. Most uploaded documents, will be listed in the Uploaded Documents table, with the exception of priority documents, which will appear in a separate priority documents table. The status of the uploaded documents will be displayed in the Upload Status columns. To view or delete a document, click on the corresponding button under Action. Click on the Fees tab. You have the option of submitting the application without payment of the application fee. You also have the option of selecting a general authorization statement. If any of these options are selected on the Fees tab, then you must click Save. The details of the fees are displayed at the bottom of the tab under Applicable Fees. Once all the tabs have been filled out, and the application is ready to be submitted, click Review and Submit in the top right hand corner of the page. Review the information displayed on the page. Errors detected by the system, will be flagged in the red error box at the top of the page. You will need to correct them before the application can be submitted. If the system detects possible omissions in your submission, they will be flagged in a yellow warning box. These warnings are not a barrier to your submission 
but correcting them could help ensure a complete application. Note that the generated petition will be available in the generated documents table. You may view the petition by clicking on the button under Actions. Click back if you do not wish to submit your application or would like to make changes to it. To submit your application, click on the Submit and Pay button if the application involves a fee or on Submit if you had opted to not pay the application fee under the Fees tab. Once your application is submitted, from the Submission History tab of the MySepo Patents homepage, you may view the corresponding application details and access the confirmation of submission and payment receipt, if applicable. Stay tuned for more video tutorials to continue learning about the various functionalities of MySepo Patents.